Hey guys, happy Father's Day. There's something here missing on my Camaro SS. If you can guess, you're the winner. Well, I'm not going to make you guess or work hard for it. The rear end's missing. <clears throat> I'm doing tubular bars up underneath tubular suspension to make the car very rigid and stiff. I want to be able to drive it around a corner. I want to be able to have fun with it. This is not going to be a race car. This is just going to be a daily driver. So let me show you what I did over the weekend. I went ahead and started to add the three-point uh, brace or frame connectors. Um, I've got one side in, the other side's giving me a bit of a problem, but I will get it. So I'm working on that, that's one of my problems, and then I'm going to do the tunnel-mounted torque uh, brace with the arm to the back of the rear end. I'm going to do a set of uh, strange single adjustable shocks. Uh, I've already put a polyurethane transmission mount in the car. I'm changing the exhaust before the rear end goes on. I'm putting a Borla exhaust. They sound great on these LT1 cars. Um, so let me show you what I did. I got a pearl under here. If you can see that I went tubular with the three point braces from UMI. Uh, I went with a poly energy mount there you can see it um they mount up let's see. they mount up up there and you got to slide a bracket and with bolt holes to it and then you um start one at a time now i'm supposed to have the car preloaded here which is not the case because of course you know the rear end's missing so i can't uh, i'm not having the front end up and i'm not gonna jack it up and risk dropping the rear end of the car right now my problem is everything's bolted up on this side but you see right there the tunnel mounted brace well this one let's see if I can get to it. this one across the way sorry about that I can't see this one this one across the way is not lining up. The bolt holes are not lining up there. Now I can get the bolt holes up front, loosen them, and get these two holes in, but then it don't want to line up back here. Um, I contacted uh, UMI, I sent them an email, so I'm hoping they're going to give me a solution. Of course, the front's not preloaded, and I think this side over here is just a sm hair higher. Um, but, just a hair. But anyway, I can't catch the threads on that back bolt. But this is how it's going. I gotta have a brace. I gotta have a brace across there now. Um a brace across there and then the arm that goes to the rear end. I got uh, lower control arms as well, aftermarket ones, and uh, the strain sh uh, shocks which are going to go right up through those holes right up there. So I'm going to move this today and put this on, um, uh, put the rear end probably up under. I got to press the calipers on the rear end and the exhaust is going to start to be taken off. That bar up there is removed, and I'm going to take the whole exhaust off the car. I haven't decided if I'm going to mock the rest of the suspension up first, and then uh, across here, and before I put the bar, pull the exhaust off there and hook up the cap back up here. I'm going to have to make a mount over here to convert because it's an LS exhaust, and I'm putting on an LT. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Maybe I'll tie it up or zip tie it somehow so I can take it to exhaust shop and they can hook me up. Um... But let me show you how the rear ends come. Um, seems like I'm always doing something to this car. And I haven't really I've driven it around the block. That's about it so far. So let me show you about the rear end. I got it pretty much mocked up and good today. Um, here's the Zextel torsion. It's got drilled and slotted. I got those off another car. Um... I cleaned them up. Uh, I'm gonna oil them lightly and then brake clean them before I put them on. Take them off. Everything. Okay, I'm gonna turn this so you can see. See, there's no slop. You see it goes? 
Look over there. Now look at that's the play I got very little. Let me show you the back part of this. I went ahead and put a cover back here. And the thing looks great. I mean, I think it's going to look good under the car. Spend some time on it. And that's pretty much how that's going to go. So do that. And do the rest of the suspension stuff. And I'm good to go. You guys have a happy Father's Day. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.